Hi, I'm Lauren Gray Hawkins and welcome to Behind the Scenes, where we recognize the employees who work hard each and every day to support our AACPS students and families outside the classroom. Transition facilitator is a special education teacher position. Um, I serve all students with IEPs, helping them make the transition from high school to adulthood, life after high school. Their needs are very different. Some students are trying to make the transition to college or to technical school or vocational training program. Some of our students with more severe disabilities are transitioning to another community-based program that will continue to provide them with structure and support after graduation. They're the lifeline of these students um, in regards to what they're going to do after high school. I mean, I can't stress enough how important they are to these students' lives. They're not trying to just get you a job. They, they're trying to help you. Like, they're trying, to, they're trying to show you, like, this is the way, but not just, like, Pitch you, in, pitch you somewhere and just, okay, do your job. No, they're they helping you do it step by step. And I feel like this is the way to go. Okay, our Enclave program is what we have. Is, it's during the school day. It's with the, three, the high schools in the area. And it's a vocational training program that we have with the businesses. And we have various businesses through the community. Um, we have some you know, very big businesses and we have smaller businesses. And this group of students go with a job trainer to work. They are dropped off there. They were there for about two hours a day. They have their lunch and then they go out and they work in the store doing various jobs that anybody else that would be employed there. If they're working in retail, they would be doing shop backs, they would be doing um, pricing, they would be stocking, they would be unloading a truck. Everything that entails of your job, you're gonna have on the job training, hands on. So for when it does come time for them to transition out and time for employment, they have already have the vocational and the training experience. Okay, Project Search is a one-year um, vocational transition program for students um, in Anne Arundel County who are in their last year of eligibility. Um, they come to the hotel and do three 10-week rotations throughout the hotel. Um, they can be, um, internships could be in banquet, restaurant, kitchen prep, kitchen utility, housekeeping, houseman, engineering. We've got a variety of, of internships for these, for these people to try out. I was in an uh, internship at AAMC. Anne Arundel Medical Center. At the hospital. And you did, how many rotations did you do in the hospital? I did two rotations in the mail room. And my third one is on oncology. In outpatient infusion, right? Uh, the SOS program, it uh, stands for the Start on Success. Uh, we service Anne Arundel, Baltimore, Hartford, Howard County, Baltimore City, and Delaware. Uh, we work with students that are on the path to graduate with a high school diploma. These are students with disabilities. And what we do is uh, first work in an internship, such as one here at Baltimore Washington Medical Center. And each student is assigned a mentor in that specific department. Uh, during the course of the internship, uh, Humana provides educational and employment services throughout. Uh, once the internship is completed, I work with each student individually, help them with job placement and uh, job services throughout the year. The on-campus transition program is um, a great program that we developed several years ago that allows our students in the alternative curriculum class to experience college life for their last two years of entitlement with the school system. I love patients and help them. We were coming out of a, a church, a different church than we normally go to, and someone yelled his name. And here it was, um, a young man whose wife was going through treatment there and just wanted to let us know how much he appreciated Tim and all he does. 
um, when he's there for those few hours, you know, by bringing his wife lunch or a warming blanket if she needs it or whatever she needed. He just wanted to let us know how much um, he appreciates Tim. We get together, we talk about like, first we, we talk about like daily goals, we make daily goals, and we talk about like how we reach them, and we, we just go around asking each other, something about each other, just trying to learn each other and trying to build a better relationship. I work in the emergency room. I help out the security apartment. So I usually just um, uh, collect the wheelchairs and uh, um, usually um, walk back the patients back to where they need to be and the visitors. So if anyone wants to visit the hospital, I just um, show them where they need to be at and things like that. Everybody not going to take us by the hand. You're going to have to go out into the real world and you're going to have to know these things, these like real world scenarios. It would be our goal and objective for every student who passes through us to be a functional um, citizen in the community. So you and I all have to, we have to work every day. We would hope that they would have to go to work every day and have some sort of purpose after they graduate. Number one, she's a great consultant. So anytime I have a question, I can call her up and say, what am I supposed to be doing to help guide a specific student into a certain direction? Or how do I find out what direction that they want to go in? So she's really great with that. And then anytime I need her support at a meeting to help provide additional information, she's um, always ready to do that. As educators, we're all trying to, I mean, from the time they're in kindergarten, we're all trying to help prepare these kids for adulthood. Um, this is just the last, the very last little piece of that where I'm giving them that last little push, but it's, some, it's a whole team effort from the time that they're very young. Well, I think programs such as SOS program is, uh, is vital to the community. Um, just because we're all interconnected in some way, right? And uh, with this program, it will help them find employment and we find that employment is crucial to their well-being and um, their mental health. You know, it's, a, it's, it's very important. It's, I think it's win-win with the community, homes, and uh, especially the students. We have a group of interns that want to work, um, that are, will show up every day on time, you know, committed, hardworking uh, interns, and they're not being utilized. I think programs like Project Search start to get our guys out of the school system into the places of business while they're still being supported by the school system. That's important that the supports are still in place. They're just, just like you and me, you know, they're, and I just wish more people would look at us. We're just everyday people. We just might sound different, look different, but we, you know, that barrier needs to be removed. I think one thing that I wish is that the um, business community as, as, as a whole would um, give kids a chance, you know, to look at somebody not just as a person with a disability, but for all of the great things that they can do and be willing to take a chance on them because I think more often than not they're surprised at what a good, you know, opportunity it turns out to be on both sides. It's good for the business and it's good for the student. Mm -hmm.